Hello everyone. Today I am discussing about the principle and working of the autoclave. Autoclave is very important equipment for the sterilization methods. And uh, autoclave uh, is a moist sterilization for the uh, sterilization of all materials. So this is very important. So today I discuss about the principles and working of the autoclave. So this diagram is the autoclave and uh, here mainly the pressure itself has no sterilizing power but steam helps to sterilize the all materials under the pressure this is the main funda so this is the equipment of the autoclave and this part this part is a pressure gauge and this is safety valve and this is the cover tightening nuts this is total part is called body and outer part is called jacket and uh, entire the bucket or basket it should be placed and uh, here the steam that means it is the water level and uh, this is the heating electrode or heating element by this heating electrode or heating element the uh, steam helps to the sterilize the all materials and the sterilizing material should be kept into the basket this is the leg part and this is the drain valve after sterilization the this is the outlet part and uh, this is a release valve or vent okay and this is a safety valve so this is the diagram of the autoclave so first of all what is the principle of the autoclave the pressure itself has no sterilizing power and uh, steam under pressure can be used so in it say uh, so in this case the uh, action of the steam is very important because uh, steam mainly sterilizes the all sterilizing materials under the pressure or destroy the microorganism quickly and steam for sterilization are two types wet saturated steam and dry saturated steam wet saturated steam means what is the wet saturated steam it is produced in a portable boiler from water present inside it and since uh, this steam is uh, in constant contact with the water so we, it is very important that it always contain water droplets and thus known as the wet saturated steam this is very important and then the dry saturated steam it is produced in a separate boiler and then with the help of a pipe and transferred to the another boiler or tank and mainly dry saturated steam is uh, very efficient for the intravenous fluid or surgical dressing because Yeah, intravenous fluid and surgical dressings, uh, different type of glass apparatus, uh, some exceptional plastic materials are sterilized through the autoclave. That means through the moist sterilization process. And the basic principle of the chemistry is that when the pressure of a gas increase, when the pressure of a gas increase, the temperature of the gas increase proportionally. That means the uh, temperature of the gas and pressure of the gas both are increases proportionally and in this way steam is gas okay and increasing the its pressure in the closed system the automatically their temperature should be increased it is important to know that the sterilizing agent is the moist heat not the pressure so mainly here the steam or gas uh, helps to sterilize the sterilizing uh, materials under the pressure and effectiveness of the autoclave means uh, why autoclave is very important so sterilization in an autoclave is most effective when the organisms are either contact by the steam directly or are contained uh, in a small volume of aqueous okay aqueous liquid and under this condition steam at a pressure about 15 psi pound per square inch attaining temperature 121 degree centigrade will kill the organism and they are uh, interspore in about the 15 minutes so the condition is or condition of the autoclave is the temperature should be 121 degree centigrade and time should be 15 minutes and the pressure about 15 psi means pound square inch water boils when it vapor pressure equals that of the surrounding atmosphere and hence so when the pressure inside a closed vessel increases the temperature at which it boils also increases already i told that the temperature and the pressure should be proportionally increased and saturated steam has a penetrative power and this saturated steam it has a penetrative power that means uh, the um, density of the materials should be sterilized 
when steam comes into the contact with a cooler surface uh, it condenses into the water and gives up it in the latent heat to that surface and at 15 psi pressure 121 degree centigrade temperature can be obtained I already told that this temperature and pressure and time also very important for the autoclave must it uh, coagulate cell proteins of the microorganism and the scales all the living organism spores in 15 to 20 minutes. Actually moisture sterilization is very important because uh, this type of sterilization process destroys the spore of all type of microorganisms okay and the sterilization materials like uh, surgical materials, different type of glass apparatus, exceptional uh, plastic and uh, some culture media and uh, <coughs> various type of coagulate substance cell proteins these are very important for the sterilize for the um, autoclave sterilization method autoclave sterilization method is called the moist heat sterilization process uh, after discussion the principle of the autoclave then uh, now i discussing about the working of the autoclave most autoclaves contain a sterilizing chamber to place articles a steam jacket where steam is maintained and the steam flows from the steam jacket into the sterilizing chamber. Cool air is forced out and a spherical valve increases the pressure to 15 pounds square inch above the normal atmospheric pressure. And the temperature should be uh, rises 121 degree centigrade already I told that. And in this temperature the um, microorganisms are totally destroyed, the spore of microorganisms are totally destroyed by this method because the water, the hot water or steam easily penetrate to the surgical uh, sorry sterilizing materials and uh, easily destroy the spore of microorganisms the time of the destruction already i told the time of the um, autoclave should be 15 minutes for denser object up to 30 minutes to exposure may be required mechanism the denaturation of the critical proteins and nucleic acid within the cell the autoclave is switched on the heat of the water, the vent is opened and the safety valve is set at the required pressure. Okay, So already I told this is the vent part and this is the safety valve. This is the safety valve and this is the vent part. Okay, So uh, next uh, the vent is opened and safety valve is set at the required pressure. When the steam starts coming out from the vent and it continues for 5 minutes it is then closed it indicates that the air has been removed and uh, the steam pressure starts raising and it comes to the desired pressure that is 10 lba square inch with corresponding temperature 115 degree centigrade or 15 lba square inch with the corresponding temperature 121 when the temperature should be 121 degree centigrade that time the pressure will be 15 lbs and when the temperature will be 115 degree centigrade then the pressure will be 10 lbs per square inch okay after the uh, stated period the switch of the autoclave and allow it cool and about 40 degree before opening the vent this is very important allow it to cool to about 40 degree centigrade before opening the vent when whole of the heat inside the autoclave is removed the lid is opened and the sterilized material is taken out and in the industry um, in the industry the large size of autoclaves uh, both horizontal and vertical position are used and they are heated directly by introducing steam prepared in a centralized boiler okay so in the industry the horizontal or vertical position type of autoclave are used for the serialization purpose so this is the working and principle of the uh, autoclave this is very important this is mere moisture sterilization process and in the sterilization process we always prefer the moisture sterilization because the mechanism uh, of autoclave is like that okay so everyone please note down my uh, and this this is a uh, notes this note and uh, very carefully read it